Hey everyone, welcome back to More Fabrics. This is Selena. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe. I hope you like this channel. It's a crafty channel. I sell products that are mostly vintage, unique, hard to find um, to help with your crafty projects. If you have any questions, go ahead. Down below is my social media links that you can reach out to me um, and uh, hope I can help you with your project. Well, today's a daily deal, and for those who don't know what a daily deal is, it's the deal of the day. They usually last longer of a day if I have a lot in stock, but they a lot of times they sell out. But um, lately, I've been making a lot of packs, so I'm trying to accommodate a lot of people. So usually, I try to make packs that are around 25 or more. Very rare is less than that. Uh, in this case, I have only 24 in this kit. You'll be getting a gift with purchase, which is this cute bag which I thought was perfect for a gift bag so if you're going to make get this kit to use it as a project for a gift say for Christmas I was thinking wedding um, you can use it for garden floral Victorian um, it is a very neutral color kit with ivories and creams and golds um, and it's it's definitely packed so I can't wait to dig in I worked really hard on this at the end of this video I was going to show you what I'm working on as well um, I'm taking the same kit and I'm creating my own but I'm making mine Christmas so the next video after this one I'm gonna um, get my machine out and show you how I am creating my journal for Christmas um, so I'm gonna jump right in in this kit um, for the first time I haven't done this in a while but I added a tassel kit so I took fabrics um, strips that are um, a half an inch um, they are I think about a yard each and there's four different kinds and I put a little tie and tie them together but you take untie this one little thing here they open up um, if you're USA um, this kit is going to be $28 um, but if you're USA it is free shipping if you spend $35 or more if you're my international shoppers this kit is awesome because the weight is under a pound so you're going to get the lightest available weight as possible for shipping so if, say, Canada, it's going to be like around $14. If it's other than that, I think it's going to be uh, the, the worst case scenario is $22, which I feel bad. I wish shipping prices were equal for all, but um, I'm going to do my best. I made sure my goal was to keep this under a pound uh, just for that case. Because I know a lot of my international shoppers always feel like they're left out. And um, hopefully I helped you out this time. All right, so you got a nice tassel pack. Um, to work with. The reason why I did the tassel pack is included in this kit I did the the hoop post. I don't know what you call it. But I sell them in the shop as well. But you can put it at the um, the corner of the binding of your journal and then you can create a tassel to where they can hang from it if you like to. But you also get this cute little embellishment pack. I put in a few doilies that you can probably make into a cluster and put um, the button on top. Each kit has a mother of pearl button which is a shell button if you don't know what that is, but it's a vintage shell button. And uh, Cindy, who put the kits together for me, created this cute little, I don't know, I'm sure you can use this for your kit somehow, some kind of little tag thing. She made it really cute. So bravo, Cindy. So thank you, Cindy. Um, in this kit, you're going to get one, two, three, four, five different fabrics. The first one I'm thinking is going to be the journal cover, um, if you want to. Each cut is 10 and a half by 10 and a half you'll get this nice cute swatch, which I think will look really good on the belt, this little strap belt. You'll get like a corsage pen. You can either pen it. I thought about mine. I might even create a Velcro closure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm, I'm not too sure. We'll find out. My too, uh, my cover, this little crochet cover here, Mine, I this is like a creamy ivory. Uh, when I show you my kit, I took mine and I took soft scrub and water and I soaked it and I made mine whiter. So if you want <clears throat> not to have an ivory cover, you can bleach your cover and it turns into like a snow white and it almost looks like snow, right? Isn't that cute? I think so. So I have this really cute uh, vintage lace. You can use for a liner of your journal. Now each kit, what I did is I included, which is over here, a manila envelope. That I've already cut it to size for you guys of this journal. Here it is here. So this here, what I'm going to do with mine, which I'll show you guys when you see the video, this is the actual size of this journal cover. You can put it on top. I'm going to take my machine to it. I'm going to layer the gold. And I'm going to probably layer 
this here for my outer. So when you stretch this, you can stretch it and clip it. So you have your exact cover. And I like the fact that it shows, I don't know if you can see in the video, the gold embellishment on the inside. And then my inside of my journal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, either, I'm either going to leave it the ivory manila envelope color so you can see the lace better, or I might line it with this here um, and then do the lace if you want it more of a wider look and not a yellow backdrop, which I like that too. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to put it all together and then I was going to take it to my machine and sew around the edges and sew down the middle or somehow to make sure there's no buckle. Um, I also included, which you guys think it's, <laughs> I just thinking of everything. This color is too cute as well. I thought this would be cute pockets um, in your journal. I'm sure you guys will figure out how you want yours, but included should be in this pile. Oh, there it is. It fell out. I cut a pocket from the manila envelope. So before you sew this all down, you can line this with fabric as well before you sew along the whole border. So you have pockets on the inside of your journal. I hope I didn't make that too confusing. <laughs> that is what I'm going to do with mine. You guys feel free to do what you want with yours. But then my closure is going to somehow be like that. I'm not quite sure. And then you have the tassel if you like. So that's that. You get that. Um, each kit has a vintage envelope. And they're, it looks like they're all cut from the top. So you can make them into pockets. Um, all of them are different. But they all have a vintage stamp, postmark, and writing. Um, each kit will have an embellishment pack as well. Like I said, only $28. It's crazy. And then you get the ephemera pack. The paper pack um, is 20 pieces. I think it's more than 20, but but I'll show you the uh, got to show you the embellishment pack I put in from some of the India fabric uh, dangle, like this little metal tr like trim dangle, which I cut it to the perfect size. Say if you want it on the edge of your journal inside, like on a pocket or something. It just was adorling. I just thought it was gorgeous. All right, and then here's some of the different appliques and trims that I put in there for your kit. I did have some leftover fabrics from some of the fabrics um, that you can put in there too as well. However you're going to do it. This cool card, I just thought it was cute. It was the same color that I was expecting for this kit, and it worked out perfectly. I'm going to start this side. I have some of this really cool vintage giant roll of uh, wrapping paper that's gold. I'm sure it's really, really shiny. And um, it, uh, I put two pieces in there. I have actually cut uh, these to the actual size of your journal. Um, so in case you want them for pages, mine, I'm using mine for pages in my signature. I'll show you. Like I have my signature already done. And this is the actual size of my journal. And I like how that gold just peeps out on the sides, um, which turned out really cute. Uh, so that's that. So you get two pages of that. You get three pages. I found this vi uh, vintage Victorian book. It had the most gorgeous pages. I already folded them in half. Usually I don't fold papers in your kit, but this journal is a 10 by 10. Um, so I just, I folded them. I figured it'd be easier to put it in your kit. Uh, each kit will also have two pages of Braille, which looks like snow. Oops, I got some fuzzies. Um, and they're pretty rather large pages. So you're going to be cutting them down and you have extra pieces for how you're going to do your pockets. Each kit also will have two pages of handmade paper, hand-pressed paper. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see the different papers inside. Um, some of them you can see flowers or leaves. This one here, I can't really tell. And then I put together this cute, if you guys know, I've been, if you watch my previous videos, I've been on a music page kick. <laughs> so yesterday was the daily deal for the 50-pack uh, um, music pages of only $10, and you get to choose your pack. I did, those who were watching this video, sneak a uh, little helpful hint. I did, because all the Christmas sold out fast when it came to those kits. I did add eight more kits last night, so run on over. I made sure when I did that listing, it was different than the other ones. You'll see it's Christmas, um, and you'll see it in the shop. There's like there was eight more. There was like I seen Mama kissing Santa Claus, Santa Claus coming to town. Um, so you got to go check those out. 
So this kit will have one, two, three, four, five pages. As you can see, I cheated ivories and creams for you. So you can um, have a variety. All right, guys, this is what your kit will look like. They're all packed, ready to ship now, because I know you guys are in a hurry to get your crafty projects done. So they're already ready to go. This is how it looked when you get it. Um, it's a little shiny because my camera's on, my lights are on. And uh, the bag is inside there, ready to go. Yes, don't forget about the bag. Um, I was going to tell you before you guys leave, if you're still around watching um, me with this video, the journal, see if you didn't want to do the size of this journal. I was thinking, because I know you can't fit this journal in this bag, but you could fit, if you cut this down to this size, make a mini journal, um, you can fit this mini journal in this bag. So if you wanted to do a journal in a bag, gift kind of thing, you can do that as well. All right, guys, I'm glad you guys got to watch this video. Run on over there. They're only $28. Um, and I'm um, glad to help you guys out. I'm working on the next daily deal as we speak. I hope you enjoyed this one. You guys have a great one. Bye.